it's fun because a lot of my friends are on the LPGA now. Um, and so uh, just being at Thornberry, like I was able to chat with them and um, see what it was like out there. And uh, they give me a lot of good advice about just staying patient and working every day to get a little bit better and then just letting everything else come. Welcome back to our Thornberry Creek LPGA Classic preview show, the second one for Lily Zhao. I'm Burke Griffin. You know, the galleries tend to follow the favorites. On tour for the men, it's always been Tiger and Phil and now Jordan Spieth and Rory and all those guys. The ladies have their niche group of people, but the state people. Steve Stricker, Jerry Kelly. We might have one of those for the ladies here this week. Yeah, fingers crossed. I mean, Casey Daniels in the Osceola, Wisconsin native, made her professional debut here last year. Unfortunately, though, she missed the cut, but she learned a lot in that tournament, and it hasn't really stopped her from trying to get back here. This week, I caught up with Casey at the Island Resort Championship at Sweetgrass on the Symmetra Tour, where she had a great finish. The goal is to get on the LPGA, um, whatever route that takes me, you know, everybody's got, everybody's path is different and I'm just enjoying the one I'm on. So whenever that happens, I'm definitely um, excited for it and ready for it. On a sponsor's exemption to play at the Symmetra Tours Island Resort Championship, Osceola native Casey Danielson had a strong fourth place finish in Burke River, which could go a long way in helping her obtain her LPGA tour card to be able to play and compete um, not only helps my game, but then, you know, this will also help my status and hopefully I'll be able to play in some more Symmetra events this year, gain more experience and um, work my way up uh, to get some status, hopefully on the LPGA. A four-time state winner in high school and a member of Stanford University's NCAA championship team in 2015, Danielson is in the midst of her second year as a professional golfer. And talk about going full circle, Danielson made her pro debut here last year to have my first, really my first big pro tournament to be in my home state was really fun. Um, and it, for it to be an LPGA event, I learned so much. It's just so much support. People really do come out for the hometown girl and, and we felt it and we appreciated all of it. Despite missing the cut, Danielson left with a golf bag full of memories. Yeah, I learned that I can compete. Um, I think I missed the cut by a shot or two um, and I wasn't putting very well. So I knew that I, you know, my game can kind of uh, measure up. And so that was really helpful. And then also learning what it's like on tour, um, how players interact. Currently the number two rookie on the ladies European tour, Danielson's goal this week is simple. Play well on qualifier Monday and she'll make a return trip to the Thornberry Creek LPGA Classic. That would mean a lot. Um, because I think I've grown a lot since um, I've played before. And so to be able to compete again in an LPGA event would be awesome. But then also to be back, you know, at my first uh, pro event and back playing back in Wisconsin and playing at Thornberry Creek because I love that course so much. Uh, that would just be a really cool experience. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Well, we have an update for you guys. Casey, unfortunately, not able to make the cut and snag one of those two remaining spots. But good news for her, though. She's still playing. She'll be at the Scottish Open in late July. This isn't the last we've heard from the Osceola, Wisconsin yeah. native, right? That's right. And when we return on our Thornberry Creek LPGA Classic preview special, this tournament just doesn't come together on its own. That's right, Lily. Literally thousands of hours are put in by the volunteers who make this thing go. We'll have that story and more when we return on our Thornberry Creek LPGA Classic preview special. Thank you.